Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mandeep and in today's video, we are going to do the Python implementation of k-nearest neighbor algorithm. In our previous video, we discussed its conceptual part on whiteboard, how it actually works. So let's get started without any further delay. Before starting on the coding part, I would like to take you through the data set that we are going to use. We have already used in our previous video this data. Uh, so this data is all about social network ads. That means this data tells you about the fact that whether a particular user has purchased something via any ad which is appearing on, on any social media website. So uh, let me take you through the columns. Column First column is user ID. User ID is a unique identifier. Gender tells you the gender of the user. Age tells you the age, how many years old. Estimated salary tells the salary of that particular user. And purchased is our uh, target uh, variable. It tells whether a particular user has purchased something via, the, via any ad or not. So if you uh, take a look at this data, for example, for this one, um, this user is a female and her age is 27 and her salary is 84,000 and she didn't purchase anything. And the same way, if I take a look on the next data set, she is again a female, 32 year old. This is the salary, 150,000 and she has purchased it. So this is the information that this data tells us. Now using this data, since this is historical data, now using this data, we are going to build and train our one machine learning model, which will be based on the uh, KNN algorithm. And then we will be predicting whether, that, whether uh, a particular user will buy something uh, from social media ad or not. So this is the whole concept about the, today's video. So let's get started. The first thing first I'm doing, I'm just importing the required basic libraries like pandas, numpy and sklearn. So you can see that import pandas as pd, numpy as np and uh, sklearn as sklearn. So mm, these pd, np and sklearn, these are kind of aliases. Uh, to so that we can use these libraries now using pd uh, as pd dot read csv read csv is a method in our pandas library and i'm passing the social net network at to dot csv file which i just showed to you this is the social network at csv and i'm reading it into a df df object df means a data frame object so after that, uh, using the head method, uh, I'm just taking a look uh, of top five rows of my data frame. So df.head gives me the top five rows. You can see that uh, one thing you can notice here is that gender is a categorical column since it contains values in string. So we need to convert this column into numerical form so that our model can understand it because our model, any machine learning model do not understand uh, the string objects they only understand numbers so we are going to do this rest all things seems fine and one thing is that user id is a unique identifier uh, of a, any user on any social media platform so it does not have any relation with the that uh, with the fact that whether a user will purchase or not so this column is of no use we can drop it so in nutshell we have these three columns gender age and estimated salary these columns are our um, x feature matrix or we can say that these are, are going to be represented by my x the feature matrix purchased is our target variable this is going to be our y so I'm just what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop this column. I'm going to take only these three columns. 
into my x variable so how i can do this i can use the iloc method df dot iloc from this data frame using iloc so i will give the location of values which i want so this value uh, col blank column this represents take all the rows and after comma this comma it represents the columns so i have mentioned one two and three that means i need first second and third column uh, and take the values so but this whole thing means that uh, take all the rows for column one two three and take their values and assign them into x object and this is my x so now you can see that this is my x so all the values have come into this now the next thing and uh, the same way i am going to do use use this thing into my uh, to separate out my y variable so how i'm going to do this df dot i uh, values before uh, comma represents the rows indexes i have not given any indexes that means take all the rows and after comma it represents the column indexes here i have given minus one minus one means last column from the last i mean first column from the last so first column from the last is this is the purchase column so if um, so that means it represents the purchase column and then i am assigning into my y variable so if you take a look at y so you would be able to see that only zero and one all the zero and one so zero represents user didn't purchase anything one represents that user purchased something after that uh, as i told you that um, my gender column is in string so i need to convert it there are multiple methods to convert a categorical column into numerical column there are a different type of encodings as well as we can use pd dot get the means method so here i am using label encoder method which is present into my sklearn dot pre processing library so i am importing it just creating an object of it and then we have fit transform and here i am passing that uh, from x from uh, so here you can see that x is a kind of matrix from x colon and that means take all the rows and zero after and i told you that values after comma these represent the column indexes so take my zeroth column so in my x zeroth column is my this gender male female so what it will be doing so it will be taking male female all these values in zeroth column will be converting them and i am again assigning after transforming them into uh, one and zero i am assigning them into the same column i am not creating any new copy of it so after that uh, just uh, you can avoid this it's just a shape will tell you the shape of it so one more thing and that we are going to use here is that um, now if you take a deep look at this data and this data uh, so now uh, you can you should take a look at this data so if i now you can see that this is my data so here you can see that uh, there are three columns which contain first column contains values 1 and 0 second column value contains age which might be let's say from 1 to 100 but third column contains values in thousands so you can think of that there are three variable in an equation one e one variable has uh, uh, very larger values or coefficient larger coefficient and the other two variable have uh, very small coefficient so while doing mathematical calculation it can bias uh, uh, the results so to avoid such situation in machine learning what we do we kind of scale all the uh, all the columns on a single scale which um, so what we do we use the standard scalar so here you can see that here are three columns and all three columns are have different range in terms of uh, varying values so first column varies from 0 to 1 second column varies from let's say 1 to 100 and third column varies in thousands so what we are going to do we are using standard scalar or any scaling technique we uh, kind of bring them 
all of them into a single uh, same scale. So for this, I am using my standard scaler. This is again into my SQLN dot pre-processing, importing standard scaler, creating an object of it. And then there is a method fit transform and I am passing X, my X variable. So now you can see that if you take a look at this X now, so you can see that earlier my X was this and now my X is uh, this. So it has been changed. So, and uh, it's a kind of uh, thing that um, we have brought all these three variables on the same scale. Now, the next thing is that uh, what we are going to do, we are do going to do the uh, train test split of our data. So uh, what is this practice? In this practice, we keep some data uh, for the testing purpose, which is kind of uh, unseen for our model. So. Uh, how we do this, we use this train test split. We create an object of it. We pass the X feature matrix, Y predicted variable or target variable. Test size, we give the test size, like how, how much of data we want to keep for testing purpose. And it will uh, kind of uh, split the data into these four variables, X train, X test, Y train, Y test. After that, uh, now, I will go into this. I will create an object of K neighbors classifier. Uh, since we are using K nearest neighbor, KNN, so uh, we are using it for classification purpose. So we, I will be using the uh, K neighbors classifier. I'll be creating an object of it. So K neighbors classifier. And neighbors, uh, I told you that how many neighbors I want to consider. And matrix, a metric is, I told you in my previous video as well that uh, this metric is like how we want to calculate the distance. So if you take a look at this data, um, suppose this is a, this is the data, uh, as in um, these uh, red triangles, uh, if you take a look at this, these red triangles, they represent uh, data which belongs to, let's say, class one. And uh, the similar way, the blue rectangles, they represent some data points and, and they uh, let's say they be belong to class two. So in what we do in KNN, uh, we kind of, uh, here we have taken uh, five. So what we do in this, uh, we value of K as a five. Here we do. Here we take the value of uh, K as a five and n neighbors is five that means we will be considering five nearest neighbors so how it actually works uh, this actually works based on like uh, uh, let's say this is our new data point the green which is represented by a green circle so what we do uh, we calculate the distance among uh, distance of this new data point from all the all of the data points so like from this uh, rectangle this rectangle and every point so after calculating a distance, we kind of pick uh, the five, since we are taking n uh, k value here, n neighbors is five. That means we are going to consider five nearest neighbors. So if, if I talk this particular example, if I talk uh, this particular example, after, create, after calculating the distance, of new data, uh, data point um, from all of the data points, we take the nearest five data points uh, since we are taking n is five, and then we uh, find out uh, that out of those five data points, let's say here three belongs to blue and two belongs to let's say uh, red category. So uh, that means majority of the data points belongs to blue category. So that means our this green circle should belong to blue category instead of uh, so this is how it actually works and uh, I have uh, so I have created n neighbors is five and metric is Manhattan Ma Manhattan means that uh, there are different formulas to calculate distance among data points uh, like from for this uh, green data point to this uh, red triangle from this. So there are different rectangles, uh, sorry, different uh, formulas. And 
manhattan is one of the formula so what are all are the valid uh, values which could be uh, taken for this metric parameter so here we have used manhattan is one of the formula and which is used and the same way euclidean distance mean kowalski distance this is mean kowalski distance and so we can pass these values so we just simply pass the value and it will calculate accordingly um, distance among the points so after that uh, creating uh, the object uh, sorry creating the object of this k neighbor classifier i am going to train it uh, so i am passing x train y train and you can see that i am taking five nearest neighbor and for calculating distance i am using manhattan as my matrix so there are other matrix we which are available you can see using this line of code sklearn.neighbors.valid matrices so it will give you all of the values so you can pass any of these values so after uh, now my model has been created now i can do uh, and it is trained as well so now i what i can do i can do the prediction part so for prediction we always give the x test because x test is the data points which has which are never seen by our data uh, so which are never seen by our uh, model so now i have uh, received those prediction into my y pred variable and now using accuracy score accuracy score is again in our sql line library so what i am going to do is uh, uh, i'm just uh, calculating the accuracy score for this we pass the y test y test means the actual values and y pred y pred means the predicted values by my model so it will give me 0.95 so 0.95 means that 95% of the uh, predictions are correct after that uh, we can plot the same thing uh, on our using confusion matrix uh, i have discussed all these things in my previous videos as well so let me do this again so i am just passing in my confusion matrix just like sim uh, accuracy score we pass the y test y test means actual values y predict y pred means the predicted values by my model and it gives me um, and assigned into a cm variable you can name it any anything and then i am just plotting it using matplot libraries and i am uh, how i am doing it i am uh, creating an object of pi plot and then i am giving the size of my figure how big figure i want on my screen then i am uh, using this heat map i am passing the cm variable which i just created using confusion matrix annotate true and annotate true will tell me about the number of correct and incorrect prediction so to read this uh, confusion matrix you can simply think of that all the values on the diagonal side are correct so you can see and think of this these 55 and these 21 are the correct prediction so you can think of that uh, when uh, and these black boxes which are appearing here uh, so you can think of uh, here my truth was one that means a user actually predicted but my model uh told this uh, that user has not purchased so and the same way uh, here is truth is zero but uh, truth is zero that means my user didn't purchase anything but my model told me that a user has purchased so this is how we uh, so this is how we kind of uh, read the confusion matrix and this is all about for k nearest neighbor uh, algorithm and uh, so thanks for watching guys and for more ml videos keep uh, uh, keep watching my uh, machine learning playlist and till then bye bye take care